So Karen just asked me a question, how many properties do you need to retire on? It's a great question and it's a real simple answer. The average Australian puts a quarter of their income towards their rent. So if you are, um, if the average Australian is doing that and you own four investment properties outright, then you can have four tenants giving you a quarter of their income each, which equals one average income. But even when those properties have paid themselves off, you'll still have to pay maintenance, management fees, insurance, etc. So you need a fifth property to draw revenue from to cover the costs of all five and you'll end up with one average income. So if you want to retire on one average income, buy five average income investment properties or five average properties lived in by average income earners, use the rent to pay them off and when you retire you'll hold them all mortgage free and you'll have one average income for life and even when you die that income will still be there and you can pass it on to your kids. Good idea, if you want to have more than that, then you know if you want to have two average incomes then you need to have ten properties and so on. Cheers. Hi there, I hope you enjoyed that. If you think someone else could benefit from that, make sure you share it with them. We'd really be grateful if you did that. And if you wanna get into property investing, if you're serious about it, just send us a message. Let's have a strategy session, let's go through it. We have clients all over Australia, in fact, all over the world. And we talk to our clients either in person or via Skype, really easy to do. So don't hesitate, get in there. It's only $297 for a strategy session and it's 100% guaranteed refundable if at the end of it you didn't feel it was worth your while. Cheers.